the middle of Viva Vino LA, the big Italian wine week, and we're here at the Skirball Center for our grand tasting. I went to a seminar this morning on Veneto wine, and I was exposed to varietals that I'd never heard of, and exposed to wines that I'd never had, and they were all remarkably good. I mean, I was uh, totally blown away. Well, I mean, there there are some Prosecco, and there's uh, the, the white wines, I think, in particular, the, the crisp white wines that are very good. Um, well, Policella actually, you know, is very good as well. But I mean, every region in Italy has their own characteristics. Right now, it's the trade tasting that's been taking place all day, open to wine buyers, importers, distributors, media, restaurateurs, retailers, you name it. The Veneto has like Amarones and amazing wines from the northeastern part of Italy. They're like luscious wines. They're like, the, they're from Verona. They're from the Romeo and Juliet area. So all the wines from that region are very lush and lovely and are, um, romantic almost. Even as retailers, even though we see a lot of different things, uh, from a lot of countries, we don't always see certain regions. And, you know, Veneto was something that I really didn't know a lot about. I learned a lot this morning. I was very impressed with several of the wines. And uh, it was great. I mean, it was, it was a really good experience. And I'm definitely going to look into Veneto wines a whole lot more than I did before. I'm glad that the Veneto region opened uh, more than they doors their mind and they came out here to scout the market and to talk with importers, with distributors to see what is the best way to take together to bring up again the Veneto region to the, to the first level of Italian winemaking. We got a great turnout. We have over 50 exhibitors, 130 some odd wineries and over 300 wines to taste. And it just gives buyers an opportunity to taste things they're familiar with, maybe learn about new varietals, new places, new producers and uh, maybe make some sales get some press I mean you never know what comes out of these things basically what happens is if you own a store or a restaurant or whatever uh, you can't taste all the high-end wines because some of the bottles of wines are 40 and 50 dollar bottles of wholesale and they just don't bring those around for you to taste so this gives us an opportunity to taste the high-end stuff and buy it okay one more Right. It's important for me to chat with the restaurant, with, with the retail, and also with private customers because this way we can understand where the market goes and how can we follow the market or how can we change the direction of the market. objective is to showcase native varietals from Italy and you know just the wealth of wonderful wines that come from Italy from all the 20 regions and the diversity of varietals, places, regions, styles, winemakers. It's very nice. I think that the reason California, Los Angeles is not a primary market when the Europeans come here to do their trade tastings, they always pick New York, Chicago and then San Francisco and LA gets overlooked and we consume a lot of wine in Los Angeles, we're a large city and we felt that Eastern Seaboard tends to love European Old World wines and the West Coast generally would probably go more for New World but it's been overlooked the love for European wine and Old World wines here in Los Angeles but we're gonna help all the people who come here regularly from all the different countries and hopefully make this a big culmination of all the work they do throughout the year in the markets. I think it's been a major success as far as a trade event uh, there was a major outpouring of people coming here it's a great venue here at Skirball and I think I think it's, it was worth these people coming out here and showing their wines. Uh, you can just check around, have a shot of the room. I see many familiar faces of the industry, people that I consider particularly smart on the buying are here. This is the industry moment, so not the public moment. Many people I personally know and are supporting the event and I do consider a big success.